series of uh, training videos for anyone that's might be interested in learning a little bit about construction and various things. Let me just introduce myself. Uh, first of all, my name is Walt Moore. I live in southeast Missouri, not too far from a city called Cape Girardeau. And a little background myself, I actually was, was a professional broadcaster for quite a number of years back in the 80s and uh, early 90s. Uh, I've since retired from broadcasting. Uh, I was also a semi-professional musician since about age 13. I played in a lot of bands and played guitar and stuff for a lot of years. I kind of burned out at that and um, did that for almost 30 years. And I later got into construction, uh, do a variety of remodeling projects. Uh, I've been a professional electrician now for over 20 years. And electrical is my main thing that I uh, have done for a living for almost 20 years, actually a little over 20 years now. Um, I also have done a lot of framing, sheetrocking, painting, a um, little bit of plumbing. <laughs> I'm not crazy about plumbing, I can still do a little bit of it though. Anyway, the purpose of our uh, video that I'm working on now, I have to explain that at the moment I'm the only one here, so I'm also the, I'm the camera operator, the narrator, and the installer. <laughs> we'll pretty much see everything. So anyway, we're going to maybe put some of this on YouTube or somewhere one of these days. I'm not sure uh, exactly where this is going to go at this point in time. This is the very first time I'm shooting a video of this nature. Um, what I'm working on currently is a new dwelling place here. Uh, I'm not going to give the exact location, <laughs> but uh, it's here in southeast Missouri. So let's kind of show you a few things here. I want to start out, and this may be just be for our own personal viewing or it may end up on CBS News. I don't know. I doubt that. I'm kind of joking. I tell a few jokes and stuff once in a while too. Still have a sense of humor. I'm 51 years old now, but getting a little older, so I have a great sense of humor. Um, in the course of our video series, if this becomes a series, <laughs> if I get in the right frame of mind and if I don't get, if I don't cut my fingers off in one of the saws here, <laughs> uh, might do a little guitar picking for you uh, sometime or other. Can't really guarantee that, but uh, in my case, you never know what's going to come up next. <laughs> so. Um, Anyway, I um, wanted to do first here, um, I was going to take the camera around and uh, I said I don't have a camera operator at the moment, and so I'm just going to take the camera around and just shoot a little video of our project we have in works here. Um, I've got part of this wired. I'm going to show you some of the wiring I've uh, done here. Uh, we have a little bit of sheetrock hung here and there, obviously not a lot. I'm going to do some more of that later in the day. Um, but anyway, um, with that said, uh, let's take a little tour for anybody that might want to take a look at this video. Maybe nobody. <laughs> Who knows? And uh, take you on a little tour of our new place here. So this actually began as a um, portable storage building, uh, which isn't too bad. Uh, it's a little bit of a chore to uh, take one of these buildings and convert this into living quarters. That's what we're working on doing. Quite a bit of additional framing has uh, been going on here. Uh, again, this is we're under construction here, so you, as you can see, I got tools and stuff <laughs> pretty much spread out everywhere. It's uh, kind of a well, it's a typical construction site. You know, you have we have ladders and a um, variety of tools and stuff. Right in here is going to be our kitchen area. And uh, as I said, I have most of this wired already. I meant to start doing some video taping before um, all this was done. Just couldn't get around to it though. Been real busy lately. Here's what some of the wiring looks like. Uh, right now I got a bunch of sheetrock against the wall right there. So um, this is basically going to be the kitchen area right in through here. We have a lot of receptacles and stuff going in there. Um, move along toward the uh, toward the back door here. And uh, right up here I've installed some can lighting. It's a very nice option. We have a fairly low ceiling here on this project. Uh, so this began as a uh, portable storage building, and they don't build the ceilings real high in those things. We got about probably well, it's about six and a half feet clearance on the ceiling. So in a case like this, uh, recessed can lighting is a very good option. Back in here is uh, going to be our bathroom and a bathroom and laundry area. Let me zoom in just a little bit here. Uh, we're setting up to put our uh, washer and dryer unit in 
right back in this little corner, this little cubby hole again. We have a recessed can light right up there. And this was kind of a squeeze to work everything in here. This is kind of a small bathroom area. Uh, kind of hard to have a whole lot in here. In fact, it's so small I have a little trouble maneuvering the camera around in here. Right in this little area here is where the commode will go. And we're getting most of the plumbing and stuff lined out. And again, more of the wiring. We have our uh, water heater is sitting back in this... Uh, little area under the stairs so that's right in there and uh, we chose to go with electric uh, type water heater over here if I can make my way through <laughs> this is I've kind of been joking saying this is a little bit like one of those camping RVs or something and trying to squeeze a little stuff in here uh, this is our shower that's going in here or the shower it, it, it is in there it's just not all hooked up and everything yet but that's what that looks like and we went with a just a stand-up um, shower type unit the row has enough room to do a tub in here and we decided we didn't really need that anyway so kind of back out here of course here again we got another can light going in there which I wired up just a few days ago over here's our exhaust fan um, all installed and that's gonna take most of the moisture and the and the humidity and stuff out of here for us and kind of make my way back out here this little corner right here is going to be for our bathroom vanity <clears throat> kind of hard to vision this right now but right in that little corner right there and I've put a receptacle box in right here in the corner I'll zoom in on that just a little bit Hope you notice how nice and neatly the wiring is all stapled. I do, I try to do very high quality work with my electrical work. It's stapled up nice and neatly. Over here is a wire for a uh, vanity light that I'll put in, obviously, after the sheetrock is done. And then just all kinds of wires going all over the place in here. So that's the uh, bathroom and laundry. Got some of this insulated down through here. Just kind of working at this and that as we go here. Back in here is a uh, room that was added on <clears throat> to this is going to become a bedroom eventually. <coughs> I've actually been sleeping in here as I joke uh, to myself and now if anybody else ever watches this video I'll be joking with you too. Then, um, just for the record I've not been sleeping on the job. <laughs> I've been sleeping on the job site so I'd like to point that out. Again I, I have most of this insulated in here. It, I wired this uh, Oh, it's been about a month, I guess, ago since I did all the wiring in here. And uh, not a lot to look at in here. There's my makeshift closet for the time being. Just in a situation like this, you just hang clothes wherever you can hang them. You find a nail somewhere or hang them on a wire. And this is the closet area, which I built. I framed up all of this back in here. A lot of, we got some temporary lighting hanging in here. Um, kind of work back in here I'd put the electrical panel this is the main breaker panel back in here if I can work my way back in there there we go there's the panel um, in a situation like this I couldn't really find a, a lot of real good options for where to put the panel a lot of times I put those in basements or in a garage in this case we don't have a basement or a garage so it kind of went back in this little closet and that's gonna work just fine um, for our purpose here kind of back back out there just a little bit and then uh, you can see how I, I piped it in uh, brought the service entrance wire in through conduit from up from the floor and uh, if we catch a good weather day we'll go out there and I'll do this again and show you some of the outside stuff we've done out here there's uh, one of my guitars right there in the corner like that if you if you get real lucky then uh, might do a little guitar picking for you that's part of this too I'm going to zoom up here. We're going to look at the ceiling here. Interesting ceiling layout here. Kind of a little different design. I've got a uh, box right up here. It's going to be for a uh, ceiling fan along with the light kit on that. Anyway, that's about all we need to look at in here for the time being. Over here, I'm going to put some kind of a little entry light right in there. That's what that wire there is for. And, of course, we have a... Uh, box right here that's going to be for a smoke alarm 
Uh, very important thing to have in bedrooms. And then there's some of our duct work that uh, kind of just had to squeeze in there. Of course, here's my switch box. Uh, right now we have the, an old blanket. We don't have a door up in there yet, so it's got the old blanket there uh, for a covering in here. All right, we'll move on out of the bedroom and back out into the hallway here. And then out here we have another box right up here, which is going to be for another smoke alarm. And we'll go ahead and wander on upstairs. We have an upstairs bedroom we're working on as well. And you can see we've got a little bit of sheetrock up here and there. Lots and lots of things in the floor when you're under construction. you got lights and fans and all kinds of stuff. Um, right down here, I'll just show you real quick, I, put in, I always put a three-way switch in when I have stair lighting. I don't have the stairway lighting installed yet. Uh, that's coming up. But we'll have a three-way switch down here at the bottom of the stairs. Here's our stairway that uh, became interesting, to say the least. And here's a railing I built just a few days ago around the stairway. And obviously it's not sheetrocked yet. And we'll move on upstairs and take a look up here just for a little bit. Kind of hard to hold the camera and climb stairs at the same time. Okay, we're now in the upstairs bedroom. Again, I have a box right there. That's going to be for a smoke alarm for the upstairs bedroom. Over here is uh, more snow falling off the roof. <coughs> There's my switch box there, which will be for all the switching coming into the bedroom. Pan around this way just a little bit. As you can see, this room is extremely unfinished. <laughs> it's actually barely even started. Um, so not a lot to look at up here. Again, we went ahead and insulated a little bit over along this wall. And uh, the heat and air guys got their heat register in right over there. And so far, almost no wiring up here at all. So anyway, that's about it for right now. And uh, later on, I'll be installing a ceiling fan and light kit somewhere in those rafters up in there. And uh, that's about all I got for the moment for our very first... Uh, part of our potential video series and that's pretty much it for the grand tour <laughs> and um, like I said before I'm gonna have to invest in some video editing software eventually but that's a brief tour a little bit of a tour of our new place here that we're working on and as I have more time I'll do a little more uh, video stuff and uh, if you're interested I'll show you how we do some of the stuff we're building and uh, framing wiring, plumbing, sheetrocking, and everything that's involved in a project like this. So anyway, again, I'm Walt Moore, the first in my, uh, what may become a series of what I call the how to do pretty much anything video series, which I may end up uh, presenting on YouTube sooner or later. And I think that's it for now. Again, I'm Walt Moore. Thanks for uh, watching, and uh, stay tuned. More to come in the future.